At Pentecost, we celebrate the gift of the Holy Spirit and what some call the birthday of the church. Let's think about the context of those early followers in the weeks after the resurrection. The Holy Spirit came in the midst of disruption and uncertainty. Even though Jesus appeared to some of his followers in those 40 days after he had risen and told them he had to leave them, reminded them that he would send a comforter, a helper, and told them that they would receive power to do what he had taught, their anxiety levels must have been off the charts. The political environment was such that they would not have been safe to publicly associate themselves with the Jesus movement, and they were certainly not free to gather as a community. But in the midst of that uncertainty, the Holy Spirit came to give them comfort and strength just as Jesus had promised. In the midst of this pandemic, a time of great disruption and uncertainty, I have seen the Holy Spirit show up for us as a church to comfort and give us peace, to remind us that God is with us, and to strengthen us so that we can continue to live out our calling as the Church of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit also shifted perspectives. Many of these followers had heard Jesus teach, had followed Him around, thought they understood who He was, but the power of His message did not become real until the Holy Spirit came. Peter, that hot-head disciple, the one who publicly declared his loyalty and then publicly denied Jesus, became a powerful preacher, articulating the gospel in ways that caused 3,000 people to come forward to join that community that day. And the Spirit shifted their understanding of themselves as community. They began to gather in homes to share the Lord's meal. They comforted and encouraged one another, but they also taught one another what Jesus had taught them, and they took care of one another. They shared what they had so that everyone would have enough. They had the courage to imagine a world where everyone had enough, a world where all were welcome. The Holy Spirit also equipped them. Whatever you think of what happened in that upper room, for me, the miracle is not just that people were able to speak languages that they previously did not know, but that everyone heard the message of the gospel in their own language. The languages were tools to reach the people. We must allow the Holy Spirit to equip us with new tools, new ways of being church, new methods. We must listen to new stories and hear new voices. On this Pentecost Sunday, we are in the midst of great disruption. And I pray that we will be more sensitive than ever to the presence and leading of the Holy Spirit. In Isaiah 11, the prophet says that the Spirit of the Lord will be upon the Messiah. And the peaceful kingdom that we all read about is not even possible unless the Spirit of the Lord is present. Without the Spirit, we have no movement for wholeness in a fragmented world. But with the Spirit, we can move through times of uncertainty and disruption with courage and strength. With the Spirit, our perspectives can shift so that we can imagine big things for God. We can imagine a world where all have enough and we will have the courage to work for it, to ensure that there is room at the table for all and that the dignity of God's creation is respected by all. With the Spirit, we can move forward and emerge with fresh fire as a new church, ready to serve and show up in a new world. May it be so.